Okay, so here's our foot. It's uh, been, had the capsule removed. And uh, then I put the foot back in the capsule. I've soaked it overnight. When you saw it, it was still a little bit pink. What I want you to know here is this is just a shoe. It grows in one solid piece and it needs to fit the foot. And all these feet, they're a different size. There's a, a little bit of variation, but for the most part, they are just like our feet. They are anatomically the same and they have the same need to grow a correct fitting hoof capsule. Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how this is just a shoe. And just like you take off your shoes, so this foot comes right out like that. See there? Put her back in. There we go. Wouldn't it be nice if the horse could kind of do that? Maybe put on some bedroom slippers at night or something. Some sleeping slippers. Okay, so this is an anatomically correct foot. It has a uh, little to no distortion on it due to the fact that its hoof capsule was correct. Now, if you trim the heels out, when the foot's supposed to be sitting up like this, if you trim the heels out and you push that foot down like that and force that horse to walk on his bulbs, you're going to start getting distortion in the hoof capsule and in the foot because the hoof capsule will deform and damage the internal foot. This internal foot needs the protection of this capsule. Like right here you have the frog quarium. Now one thing I want you to notice is all this skin is the same color now, it got a little pink there because there's still blood coming out of it. But what I want you to notice is how this skin is the same color as this skin. This skin grows the hair. This little skin right here grows the periopal band that connects the hoof capsule to the leg and to the hoof, weary, hoof here. And then you have the coronary band right below that. It grows the hoof wall. And then you have below that this lamina here. And just like the lamina is many leaves, like you can't really see it real good right there. You can see it a little bit there, but many, many thin, fine leaves. And they interlock in a dovetailed fashion with the lamina that's inside of this hoof capsule like like so like so and they slide down like this but like so okay so then you have the sole corium that grows the sole all around here let's see let me get something to point it out Okay, here's the sole of your heel right up here. Here's your, here's the bar wall. Actually, the wall comes around like this. Here's the heel buttress, which grows a big triangular chunk of wall that stabilizes the whole hoof capsule. So here's what you call your bar wall. The wall comes around like this, and that's the bar lamina. The bar corium is right here, and then you have um, the collateral groove and sole corium and right in here. Now, notice how seamless it is. Okay? And while we may look at this and we may see different parts, if we look in there, look how seamless it is. Again, this is just your horse's shoe. This horse here has had many of these. They've grown down and grown off, and they're dust in the wind. This is temporary, and this is your horse here. And so this, these feet have specific needs. But what I want you to really get a handle on is just like the whole body 
has a covering of skin, see? This foot is only skin. That's all it is. When I cure these, this turns into leather. That turns into leather. If I cure them a different way, I can turn them into rawhide. If you know what rawhide, you know how you get a rawhide bone for your dogs? Where they take hide and take the hair off of it and they cure it a certain way and it turns hard. So this is just skin. This is skin. And what I want you to notice about the soul skin is that it doesn't just start right here at the very edge of the foot. Okay, this is very important that you understand and know the anatomy and shape and form of the soul. Okay, it doesn't, and you'll, if you look in uh, all the vet books, all the farrier books, they have a drawing of this foot. Why? Why have a drawing? Why not have a real foot? Because they don't think it's really a foot. They look at this because they don't ever really hardly soak them to get all the blood out. But they look at this as if it's just some sort of tissue. Well, it's not just some sort of tissue. It's skin that covers the whole foot that is composed of various parts. And this skin grows its own form fitted shoe. So this sole, what I want you to notice about this sole is that it lips up over the edge of the foot. In other words, it's not just directly underneath, but it lips up over the edge. Here, you can see it more over here. See that? That sole corium right there. And so what that does is it grows a form fitted uh, part of the container, part of the capsule around the rim of the foot. And that's why it's so important that you don't have flares, that your toes don't get long, because it actually grows sole that, that just snugs that right up and protects it and keeps it from deforming. Many horses wear the toe of their coffin bone out because the sole has been stretched out here and they're sitting on flat sole like that. Okay, so if, you know, I can't, I don't know if you can see this, but see, I'll take pictures and you can see it that there's a form fitted rim around here. Right around here, you can see it. And even though it looks like the foot is only concave, in reality, it grows a convex sole ridge here. And then right when it gets to the coffin bone, that's where it goes concave. So the sole has both convexity here, like it grows its own uh, convex rim of shoe, and then it gets concave right under the coffin bone. Okay, um, another thing is, let's, you want to look at the shape of the foot. People are always wondering, well, do the bars bear weight? Well, let's take a look here. Okay, look at how the bars are. Look how the bars are below the sole corium. The bar lamina is below the sole corium. The sole, it kind of uh, angles down. I'm shaking here. It's, this is hard to do by yourself. Okay, so all we're doing is we're, we want to understand this inner foot here. We want to understand how that capsule is supposed to grow and fit it. And then we want to help the horse achieve that and maintain it. Okay, now, something you need to know. As soon as you take, here, look at this. As soon as you take the hoof capsule off, this thing could drop down to the ground. Look at that. See that? You see how when you trim the heels out, it can just be pulled down 
These can be so easily pulled down this way. As you trim the heels um, too short and trim them out. See, what do they teach in barefoot trimming? They teach you that that horse is supposed to walk on those bulbs there. Well, how's he going to have any soul? Look at the bulbs are level with the soul. The bulbs, bulbs and frog are level with the rim of the soul going around. Now what happens is, as this is pulled, as the foot is trimmed out, as the heels are over trimmed, and it pulls all this cartilage down, it shoves these heels up into the foot, like so. But you see how easy this moves, and why, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> and why it has to have specific support from the hoof capsule.